Your April air humidifier is located on the central heating system ductwork that carries conditioned air throughout your entire home. It includes an automatic digital control located on the cold air return duct where it senses the moisture level of your home's air. Now to see how it works, let's take a look inside. Now your April air humidifier automatically senses when your home needs more humidity. When it needs more and the furnace blower is operating, water flows into this distribution tray right up here and then down through this water panel evaporator. This is the heart of your humidifier. Dry hot air is moved through this moisture filled water panel where natural evaporation takes place. The water turns to vapor and the system blower circulates this humidified air through the ductwork and throughout your home. It's really that simple. Your April air humidifier is controlled by a state-of-the-art automatic digital control offering more features than any other control in the industry. It automatically delivers the optimum level of humidity 24 hours a day during the heating season. This control shows you the relative humidity level in your home. These service lights indicate when it's operating, when it's time to change the water panel, and when other service is required. Your control panel operates in either the automatic or manual mode. In the automatic mode, the control works with an outdoor temperature sensor to automatically adjust the humidity in your home to the optimum level. During the first heating season, it needs to be set initially to match your home's condition. To do this, first turn the dial setting knob to the 5 setting, which is the normal range. During the next 24 to 48 hours, you may need to adjust this dial for more or less humidity, depending on your personal comfort and your home's requirements. If you want more humidity, turn the dial up one increment. If you have condensation on your windows, then you want to turn the dial down one increment. During the coldest part of this first winter, you may need to make some minor adjustments to the setting. Once this is done, you shouldn't need to make any further adjustments. Now, if your installation requires manual mode, be sure to anticipate any drop in outdoor temperature and reduce the humidity setting to avoid excessive condensation. For example, with an outdoor temperature of 20 degrees Fahrenheit, the correct setting should be 35% relative humidity. If the temperature is expected to fall to zero degrees Fahrenheit, then just reduce the setting to 25% several hours before the temperature drops. It's important to make the proper adjustment to the humidity setting to avoid condensation, which you may see as fog or frost on your windows. Now let's talk maintenance. Like any piece of mechanical equipment, your April air humidifier needs proper care to assure optimal performance. Your heating and cooling contractor can do this for you during routine system maintenance. If you want to do it yourself, consult your owner's manual for step-by-step -step instructions. But let me show you what to look for. First, remember, whenever you service your humidifier, turn off the water supply to the unit and disconnect the electrical power to the furnace. That's very, very important. Once a year, usually before the heating season, you should check the water line. That's this feed tube right up here. It's also this strainer, which goes right in here, this opening or orifice, which is right over here, and this drain line, which is right here. The strainer and drain hose need to be flushed and cleared of any blockages. If there's any sign of residue in the drain line, you should call your contractor for service. Inspect the water feed tube by gently flexing it and looking for signs of cracks or signs of wear. Replace the tube if it's cracked, brittled, or damaged. Consult your owner's manual for step-by-step -step instructions or call your installing contractor for help. Now for the water panel. Over time, water deposits begin to form on the water panel and start clogging this paper mesh and reducing its efficiency. Your humidifier control monitors the operating time and lets you know when it's time to be replaced. For the best performance, change your water panel twice per heating season. Remove the old water panel and clean the middle deposits from the distribution tray, this housing, and these flow chambers. Then install your new April Air water panel and you're set. It's really that simple. You can do it yourself or you can have your contractor help. If you do it yourself, check your owner's manual before you begin.